I was watching Janik stream the other day. Now, Janik is doing a concept where he's trying to beat every track of the day author metal. One of them is this map. It is called Everest, and it's from two years ago. And while playing this map, I noticed that on this drop down, you could use the uh, infamous Gorilla Grip, the new Trackmania strat. Janik did not do that because he was just going for author times, not world record. I should beat this world record and prove to Janik how good Gorilla Grip is and how easy it is. This is track of the day in 2021. The world record on this map, everybody, 3042 by Tiger Shark. I would like to see whether or not my my Gorilla Grip ways can can net me a world record here. So it goes here, and then on this, this drop down, I wanna. Dude. Hope you have do the nice strat. Evening. So, for those unaware, I'll try to I'll try to explain this. Um, Gorilla Grip. It's a new mechanic in Trackmania. Where on every ice drop down, if you ever have a drop down or a jump, if you hold steering before that jump, you will land with way more speed during an ice slide. This world record is from t December 2021, and the the map is from February 2021. This is an old world record, yeah, it's almost two years. So on this drop down over here, if I hold right before it, my car should gain a lot more speed afterwards. However, I'm noticing there's a gear change. So maybe it's not that good here. Maybe you can't be too fast. Um, or else it this will not work. Is... That could be a problem. I, I would look for it for you, but I'm just a little flustered right now with everything. So I hope, hope you understand. Can you also send me a Discord message and I can answer after the stream? Um, I'll probably find it for you. Okay, good start. Top of kids. And then I slide here. I did use Gorilla Grip here, so we'll see how fast this is. Get the gear up here. And then pretty sharp. Boom. Top 20. Let's quickly compare and see if my theory good. is right. Glad to see you again, Word. Okay, so my start was just faster. Probably... Uh, uh, a consequence of new physics. That's fair. That's completely fair. And then here I should gain in this landing. Boom. And that's where I lose time. Alright, so far my theory has uh, not really proven that fruitful. I'm going to be streaming a lot more uh, frequently now. Now that all the moving is done. You're still in Norway, I assume? You assume that. The Norwegian government assumes that. Everyone's happy. If we can live on this assumption. That's, that's, that's exactly the type of narrative we want. <laughs> yes, I am in Norway and nowhere else. <laughs> why would I be? Like, why would I move to somewhere where there's more sun and less taxes? Like, I don't know. Of course I'm in Norway. Oh! Holy! I almost beat- I almost beat Mika! I almost beat Dog! This one was pretty fast. I kinda wanna attack. Okay, so that- We don't- don't- Mind the other virtual? Where what? I had such a bad start. And here, boom. See, I'm gaining a little bit. Tiger Shark's run is not from this patch, but then way more speed through here. Okay, that's where I lost it. So why do you care about the sun? You only sit inside. The reason you should care about the sun is because then I don't have to spend money on Elgato key lights and electricity then the sun can just be my, my light resource for the streams. Holy start. I'm ahead. I did a report on the Norwegian government in high school, and I remember it being a really cool system. What's your favorite part about that system, and all Norway as a whole? Oh my god, I threw so hard. I was 0.4 ahead. My favorite part about the Norwegian system. I think it is, looking at America, for comparison, if I ever get injured, I don't need to run away from an ambulance. I don't need to be that scared of guns. Progressive tax system is pretty good. This really good Sigma social security. Dude. Any good movies or shows you've seen lately you would recommend? Shows I've seen lately that I recommend? I mean, I don't watch that many shows anymore. I don't know. Have you guys had this feeling that there's just too many things to watch? There's too much of a commitment to end up watching anything? It's felt like there's a while since something was the show. And if you watched it, you could always talk about it with friends. But now it's like, no matter what you watch, you want to talk with, it, with your friends about it, there's a high chance they haven't seen it. Because there's like 500 shows. I got time to watch everything, so it's like, 
Now I want to watch a good show and then be able to talk about it with my friends. Like, oh yeah, you remember that scene? Now Game of Thrones had that, for example. It's like, oh, you could talk about it with friends. But then there's a lot of shows that just don't. So I actually haven't ended up watching a show in, in a good while. I think the last I watched was a Norwegian one called Exit. Which is a messed up show. <laughs> Norwegians will know. Uh, but um, maybe even Scandinavians, that's as whole. This guy's Sigma is- I thought it was fun, good. but it was pretty wild. I watch a lot of YouTube. And on YouTube, I can recommend, drum roll please, History for Granite. I am this guy's biggest fan. If History for Granite has a thousand fans, I am one of them. If History for Granite doesn't have any fans, that means I am no longer on this earth. If I may, how hard is it for you to connect with Chat while playing a game that's so focus oriented? Oh. What was the key for you with Chat when you were starting? So what I do is I usually, Lock on to one message, and this time it is yours because Brian said it out loud, the text to speech. And then I will simply talk about your message while now also intensely looking at the screen. I can talk and drive, um, but I can't usually read chat mid ice slide. Like, if I read chat now, I'm gonna crash. And so that's something I've figured out that I can't really do. Another thing is uh, I tend to mute alerts during a competition, like a couple of the day. Simply because I cannot focus if I get, like, sudden TTS in a intense moment. But I think that's usually the, the thing, it's like... Yeah. And then... It's all, also like... With a chat that moves very fast, you can't address every message. But you try to get the gist of what chat is talking about, and then... Whoa, answer to it. Oh, that was so close. This okay, so this is my current run versus personal best and world record. I had a fantastic ending here. Except that I crashed. It was honestly pretty good even with the crash. This guy is but I think so far I've yeah. almost gotten to prove my thesis correct. The world record is not going to be easy with Gorilla Grip, but definitely easier yeah. than without it. Why don't you just hack the game to get world record? You know, there was one guy who did that and it wasn't too popular. You can look at others' mistakes and kind of see how those turned out and then think, okay, I don't want to make the same mistake. Hey, Virtual, is there any way to watch VODs from your blindfolded challenge? Ooh, these are, yes, actually, saved, I think. I think I saved, hang on. Oh, that was a clean ending! What an inside line. Ah, bit, bit far behind on start though. Uh, I saved all the VODs for proof, I remember. Because, um, I thought people might accuse me of cheating. So I saved all the 200 hours, like the 124 hours or whatever, of on-stream gameplay. I unlisted on Twitch. I, I, I still have them, I'm pretty sure. Because I figured, like, people would think it wasn't legit. If you want to see me brain rot, I can probably, uh, have those, uh, on the VOD channel. Those are absolute brain rot. There was one map I started hallucinating on, but I, I was seeing things and I was seeing like moving blocks in the old Trackmania game. Complete delusion from just being blindfolded for so long. Why do you talk about everything but the game? The game is, is just satisfying colors moving on the screen. What you're watching is actually a podcast. I'm just a live version of those TikToks. Driving with Virtual is my favorite podcast to fall asleep <laughs> to Pepe laugh. Nah, I should talk more about the game. If you have any game-related questions, things you want to know, it's often easier that way because I feel on my own, I just end up repeating myself and maybe not giving you valuable information to learn from or things that could be interesting to know. I'm trying to get Road Acker on this track after challenging Danny to do it, and he said no. With this new mechanic called Gorilla Grip. So Gorilla Grip is not that useful, it's very situational. But on this drop down here, by holding right before the drop down and holding it as I land as well, the car just has way more speed. And right now I'm trying to prove that this this is gonna let me beat old Road Ackers. I already beat most people. 
except for Tiger Shark in this insane time. So that's what we're trying to do. And uh, so far it's going pretty good, but yeah. We need to actually get the 1-1. This one, guy one. Sigma is good. That was so insanely good. so wide guys i have a story for you on the plane back from um vegas there was a kid sitting in front of me like the seat in front before the plane even had taken off he booted up the screen and put on the mario movie i've always wanted to watch the mario movements when I, when I saw that i was like oh that's exciting they have it on the plane but then like 20 minutes later the kid was so bored that he switched off the movie and started watching Yogi Bear. And so now I don't know what to think anymore. Like, should I watch it? Had he seen it before? Is it bad? I want to watch it, but if this kid wasn't entertained, like what? It's made for him, you know? It's not made for me. And at first I, I thought he started watching like a war movie because there's people in military uniforms in Yogi Bear. So I was like, oh, okay. It wasn't like Call of Duty enough, but no. Have you seen it as a good movie? I feel it got so lost in between Op and Barbenheimer. Like, those two stole the spotlight, and everyone forgot about the Mario movie this year. But maybe it was forgettable. I think children's movies are some of the best movies out there, because they have to be written with such precision for kids to understand the story. Like, a lot of animated Disney movies are really, really well-made storytelling movies. Because if you tell a story to a child, they're not going to understand it, if you're not very precise. Thank Tangled, you. amazing story in my opinion. Monsters, Inc. Fantastic. I think Barbenheimer are the movies that people went to the cinemas for the first time in years to watch. And it's almost like it has to be a plant by the movie industry. master holy what an ending <laughs> there's so many virtuals <laughs> okay well we can't really see tiger shark but this is one of the best starts i ever had you can watch it from tiger shark's point of view and then guess the virtual but here this is a bad eye slide but i straightened out enough to get fourth so i'm not losing that much speed and then behind him into the last checkpoint but very inside nice flick around the snow and so there you go janik I think I, I think I proved my point. And if there's more maps from the uh, old track of the days, we could use Gorilla Grip to get World Record on, I'm down.